Now we're going to get to Rory and Jonathan. So Rory and Jonathan, you'd like to step forward and look at this monitor. Uh, oh. This is called film dubbing. God and uh, what they've got to do is to dub oh, on a soundtrack good. onto this film uh, from which the regular soundtrack has been taken away. Yeah. What we'd like you to do, Rory and Jonathan, could you... Oh, sorry. Tommy's right. <laughs> You seem to be what? talking about something, I don't know. What you've got to improvise... Oh, I'm Clyde. <laughs> We're trying to concentrate. What on, for goodness sake. <laughs> what we'd like you to do is to improvise uh, somebody complaining in a hotel, to the hotel manager or something like that, but uh, dubbing it on to this sight track. What's the opposite of a sound track? Sight track. There you go. I've never been so in my life. Someone has poured some spaghetti over my helmet. <laughs> oh, well... Uh, I think I've heard it. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I, oh, no, no, I, 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 I can't see anything. No, 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 I can't see anything wrong with that. But I ordered pizza. I definitely <laughs> ordered pizza. <laughs> it's not a matter. I think it's spaghetti. I never thought of my life. Oh, you ordered pizza in that establishment? Like... I've never thought of my life. You... I, I have you know, I'm a well-known transvestite. <laughs> I'm going to phone and ring the Samaritans and complain. <laughs> oh, you'll be holding that. Give me that. Give me that. I will. I will. Oh, oh, you're squeezing my finger. Oh. Don't you dare squeeze my finger. Don't ever point your finger at me, you little Italian. Oh, how dare you? I shall order ah. pizza. No, I won't. Well, that's, this means war. <laughs> I've oh, got a good line. No, 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 please, don't talk when I'm talking. That's all I ask what? you. I, <laughs> I'm going to send out for a pizza if you want one. Now, <laughs> I'm still talking. You understand? Oh, I'm going straight back to the Wigmore Club. <laughs> you can stuff your spaghetti. <laughs> Thank you. Right. <laughs> Jolly good. Well, that was very good. It must be worth 500 points each. So it's a shame only giving 32. <laughs> so this next game is called Remote Control. It involves everybody in this. Now, each of the contestants is provided with a TV program that they're going to improvise in the style of. Tony, uh, Star Trek. That's your TV program. Uh, Jonathan, Call My Bluff. <laughs> have you ever seen that? Maybe you've been on it for, aren't you? Uh, Rory, Breakfast Television. I'm sure you must have been on that. And uh, John uh, Bilko. You know, Phil Silvers, Bilko. So you'd like to come forward ready to do that. And the idea of this is like I'm sitting at home with my remote control dodging around amongst the stations. But each of the programmes on and each of the stations happens to be dealing with the same subject. And we like that subject suggested now by somebody in the studio audience. Pornography. Pornography. Um, yes, why not? Uh, well, we'll discover why not in a moment. Um, so I'm going to just, you know, dance around the... Well, not dance around, I'll just you know, go around from station to station just as I feel like it. Starting with Rory. Hello, well, I'm... Oh, oh sorry, wrong camera. <laughs> well, I'm here because I'm standing in for, for Anne, who's having her baby this morning. Good luck from all the team. We hope it's a human. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to talk about pornography in a minute, but just... We, apparently, Shepherd's Bush roundabout should be avoided uh, this morning. Um, talking of things to be avoided, of course, the Middle East. We'll be talking to the Ayatollah Khomeini John. later on. In the show. Imagine Doberman sir, that little face looking up on the top of the hill. His whole body covered with oil as the great llama comes down on top of him, having anal sex with him for hour upon hour upon hour. <laughs> and then imagine all the women arriving, the women, the choir boys, and the great piles of molasses them rolling around. Love it, sir. Sex, sex, sex is probably one of the armies, sir. So, switch, Tony. Space. And boobs. <laughs> Lots of them. These are the voyages of my hands. Ha 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 Lieutenant Uhura, would you like to gasp at my veiny bang stick? Jo Jonathan. Jo um, Jonathan. Now we come we come to the next uh, <laughs> the next part on the um, and it's pornography. Who's gonna start off on that? And I think it's Frank. <laughs> um, 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 um. <laughs> Now, poor Pornog, poor Pornog, 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 John. I don't understand it, Bilko. I came down to the hut earlier on. No, don't understand it, Colonel. You don't understand what's going on here. The men are needing sex, sex, sex. They're making love to each other. Making... Uh, Rory. I don't understand it, Bilko. What's Rory. And funny man, Charlie Drake. Oh, sorry, I had to wrong. <laughs> yes, well, uh, and now, Lizzie. Hello. Jonathan. <laughs> Pornography, pornography, pornography. Can't... Rory, Rory. I got a message from my buttocks this morning. <laughs> Did you? Tony. Oh, um, <clears throat> what's, uh, what's the latest, Mr. Spock? Well, Captain, my horny manliness is beginning to stir. I... John. 
It's that ridiculous size. We're coming down the close. We're going around the corner. And all these women are lying on the floor, waiting for it. Not waiting for it. Begging for it. Mm. Yeah, let's go there. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you very much. That'll it. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> all right. Uh, well, well, that was brilliant. That was absolutely fantastic. Uh, three points each. Well, that about ends the show, so all I have to do is to total up the points and see who's won. And I see that uh, Rory McGrath has won this week, so well done, Rory. Oh. <laughs> and, and the... The... The price of winning is to read the credits out in the style of my choosing, and I'd like Rory to read out the credits in the style of his own mother. Uh, so all I have to do now is to... Thank you all. Stay there, Roy, for just a moment. Uh, thank you, Tony Slattery, Jonathan Price, Roy McGrath, John Sessions, you, the studio audience. So this is me, Clive Anderson, saying good night. Good night. Well, Roy, you've, you've done better things in your time. Now, that Clive Anderson's very good, and John Sessions is very good, but you've done much better than that today. Oh, Phil Pope did the music. Oh, did I meet him at your wedding? I think I did, yes. Because all these people do that programme, it's such a silly little programme. It all these, what's the floor manager, for God's sake? How much does she get? Oh, I wish I was people would do something like that, you know. Oh, could be great. Oh, makeup design. I met her, didn't I? Oh, now, how's that girl? Oh, no, Alana Bucky, she Irish. Oh, yeah, I wish I, we could find a nice little Irish girl for, you know, for Michael. Yes, that would be lovely. Oh, Michael Lingard, yes, I imagine. He's, oh, look at that poor little girl. What does a director do? Oh, now, what's the difference between a director and a producer? <laughs> <laughs>